Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play I Want to Eat the Lemon. Um, I actually recorded about 10 minutes into this, and then I realized that my bandy cam had, like, frozen at about a minute in for some reason. And I don't know why that happened, but yeah, a lemon a day. Keep hentai away. I'm guessing it should say keeps hentai away, because the lemon is just the hentai. Actually, when I first downloaded this game, I had no idea what it was, and then I found out, like, I, I, I was thinking, like, oh, great, is this going to be, like, a hentai game or something? I might not be able to show this on my channel, but... No, actually, it's not. I don't know, my guess is it's, it's like a metaphor for destroying hentai, maybe? I, I, I don't really know. Anyway, this, this is a neat... You guys will see what I mean. But, um, yeah, this is, it's, it's a needle game. You know, I, I'd like to say, um, I actually don't really hate needle games as much as I used to. I, I, I can enjoy them as long as they're, um, reasonable with their difficulty. You know, the main reason I think I used to dislike needle games so much was mainly just because of, just because they were, like, all the ones that I'd seen and played were so absurdly difficult. Like, I'm talking, like, a 80 or 90 out of 100 on the difficulty scale. Like, every, like, every jump t takes, like, half an hour for you to get past or more. And some of the jumps just, like, seemed almost impossible to me. Can't think of any direct examples right off the top of my head, but I'm sure you guys know the type of fan games I'm talking about. And I was under the impression that most needle games were like that, but um, I actually want to say um, I want to get cultured, and I want to get cultured too. Open my eyes to the fact that not all needle games are bad. Actually, a lot of them are really good. And yeah, I really like the get cultured games. I never beat either one of them though. Also, um, well, when I got up here before, I thought I'd, I thought I had beaten the game. <laughs> I, I thought this was the end of the game at first. But no, that was actually just the little intro stage. Now, granted, I mean, I, I can cope with difficulty higher than this, because this is, this is pretty much a beginner's needle game, but... Yeah, it's like, the, the I, I don't know, the, the I want to get cultured games are so fun to me. Except I have, I haven't, like I said, I haven't beaten either one of them though. Um, I, 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 I got all the way to the final boss on the first one, but I was never able to beat the final boss just because of the randomness. And yes, I know there's a trick to it, but I didn't know about that trick um, back when I played it, and that was actually on my old computer. I've been working my way back to the final boss slowly on this one, but yeah. Granted, the trick to beating him is, like, a cheat, basically, but, eh, I don't know, I might utilize it. Because that entire thing is literally just an RNG fight. As for Culture 2, I'm actually currently on the Stage 3 boss. I'm not doing too well against it. It's not really, I don't know, it's not really, honestly, the bosses in Culture um, 2 aren't really that hard, by themselves, because every boss is like a medley, because, you know, it's a medley game, so, um, the boss fights are all, like, medleys of different bosses, and if you were fighting these bosses individually, they wouldn't be hard at all, really, but the thing is, it's like, it's so, um, it's so, like, long and drawn out, though, like, because there's so many of them, and the fights go on for, like, two, three, no, longer than two, yeah, usually, like, three or four minutes each. So, there's a huge, like, margin for error, and you know me, I end up getting, like, nervous, and that causes me to screw up even things that should be pretty easy. Yeah, you want to stay still for that one, or else you'll, um, go into those spikes. Now, when I was talking about really difficult needle games, I'm talking about needle games that just have you doing jumps like this constantly, just this, this kind of jumping that we got going on right here, and I know there's way worse than these, but I can't pull these off for the life of me. I almost made it through right there. I know there is a way you can make it through that. Speedrunners like to utilize jumps like that as shortcuts. See, if someone was speedrunning this game, they probably would have gotten past that in one or two tries, because they are way more skilled than me. Actually, speaking of speedrunners, you know, I, I watched a stream, um, well, 
it wasn't a live stream. It was like a recorded stream. But um, I saw like a stream of a guy uh, playing an I Want to Be the Guy game. I forget which one it was, but he said something which um, it's really true. Like like he like he was apparently asked like um, why he likes I Want to Be the Guy game so much, and he said that honestly it's just because the platforming is really 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 fun. Like, the physics and the control of them are just so smooth and precise. Like, it's, it's a lot of fun to, like, learn the physics and figure out how to maneuver through all these traps and obstacles and... Oh, good, I didn't spend an eternity getting past that. Oh, it's already gone, what the heck? I deleted my... Um, th there was a lemon right here before, and I, I, you, like, I touched it, I ate it, and the game said something. It said, I think it's something like, I, like, I want to eat the lemon lemon or something. I don't even know. Also, the screen after this is uh, where I got to before I realized my recording wasn't actually recording anymore. So from here on, it's going to be blind, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like, the, the, the physics and the platforming in these games are really good, but another thing that's really cool about I Want to Be the Guy games, oh, I mean, everyone, I guess, you know, this isn't really that hard to realize for yourself, but all your skills kind of transfer between them. Like, if you play a really hard I Want to Be the Guy game, that it kind of, it, it automatically, like, improves your skills for pretty much all of them. And heck, playing I Want to Be the Guy games actually improved my skills at regular games, too. Like, I, I Want to Be the Guy, I will say, is pretty much the series that made me good at gaming. Like, I don't know, I don't remember if I told this story, but it's like, I don't know, it's like, I think like back in like 2008 or 2009, I played Breakdown, you know, the Xbox game. I played it on um, hard mode, and it took me so long to get past that. That was like one of the hardest things I'd ever done, and I never imagined that I would ever be able to do it on expert mode. But then, I think it was around 2012 or 2013 maybe 14, I don't remember exactly when, but it was sometime after I had started playing a lot of I Want to Be the Guy fan games and had suffered through that immense difficulty. And it's like, I thought, you know what, it's time. I'm going to attempt to play Breakdown on hard mode. I mean, on expert mode. And I ended up clearing the expert mode file two hours faster than I did the hard mode file. And I didn't even die a huge amount either. I can't even remember any spots that really gave me trouble. Like, I literally had an easier time with Expert than I did the hard mode, like, years prior. And I'm, like, 100% sure that's because of I Want to Be the Guy. So, yeah, you, you want to get really good at, like, you, you want to, like, improve your reflexes and your hand-eye coordination and... You know, just get really good at games in general. Just play I Want to Be the Guy. It'll probably do that for you. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a mirror segment in one of these games with, like, three, um... Th three at the same time. Oh, dude, I'm gonna, there's gonna be four. I'm gonna have to... Okay. This... Okay, this is going to be hard. This game got pretty difficult all of a sudden. Oh, I wasn't looking at that one in the bottom right there. Oh, so yeah, I never got this far, by the way. I, I made it to the, the I made it to the room with the um, I made I made it to like the the first mirror segment. This is like the same room, but yeah, it, I I didn't get to this this part here yet. I 
I'm not that bad at multitasking. I'm usually doing several things at once, so... You'd think this wouldn't be that hard for me, but... Not really easy. Thought I'd mess that up for a sec. Uh, which one is killing me? I, I can't tell. Okay. Oh, come on, man. You know, I just need to keep an eye on the one on the top there, because that's the one that was killing me all those times. Oh, I just did the same freaking thing that I did before. I gotta say, why am I walking into that bottom right one now? That time I jumped into it. That time I hit the top left one. Oh, come on. Man, progress was going so smooth, and then I hit this room, and the game's just like, nope. Not easy anymore. Finally! Okay, we all knew it was coming. Let's do this. <laughs> That's basically a gate jump right there. Oh, there's one over there now. that much different here outside of that spike there. Double jump too soon. Okay, we can get through this. This isn't really that hard. Okay, now what? Wait, what just killed me? <laughs> ah, I was wondering when I would die to that one. I knew it was only a matter of time. Oh, now I can't get past this. Come on, game. Come on, game! Thank you. No thank you. Okay. Ah! Yes! Okay, I got a falling segment. Far does this go? That was probably almost at the end because the uh, the shaft got like really skinny there. Oh, 
I wonder if I'm gonna have to go back up this thing. Oh, come on. Maybe I shouldn't have saved so close to the edge. Left, right. It's like left, right, right faster. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, it just goes left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep that in mind. Oh, by the way, um, I don't think I've ever given my, uh, um, opinion on avoidance fights in these, um, kinds of games. I probably have at some point. I don't play too many games with avoidance fights in them, so I'm not sure if I've ever, like, really talked about them that much, but, yeah, I'm... Oh, that's the end? Well, okay. Huh. That wasn't a bad little game. A little shorter than I thought it would. I figured it'd be short. I didn't think it'd be that short. But, um, avoidance fights. Um, I just want to say, I, I still don't really like them too much. If, especially if they're, like, extremely long and drawn out. And it's mostly just because, I gotta admit, I just, I can't follow all that stuff. I'm really bad at, like, Toho things. And... Yeah, I'm just, I'm horrible at avoidance fights, so I don't know if I would ever even be capable of completing a fan game that has, like, a really difficult avoidance in it, because I just, my eyes just can't follow all that stuff going on at once. It's just insane to me. Like, I, I don't know how in the world people are able to do that, honestly. But... Yeah, like, I don't know, I've grown a lot softer towards needle games. Like, I don't I don't just, like, hate needle games anymore, because a lot of them are actually good. But avoidance fights, I'm just terrible at them. It's not really that I hate them. I mean, I've seen and played some cool avoidances, actually, but I've never been able to, like, beat <laughs> most of them. But anyway, that's it for I want to be, or I want to eat the lemon... I, I guess I guess the lemons have been eaten and there aren't any more lemons and um we're, we're it's all being celebrated we're shooting off fireworks for it apparently I guess the hentai has all been destroyed or something I I don't even know why it even mentioned hentai I don't even make any sense but I don't know maybe maybe this is actually like a clean version of a really 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 like raunchy fan game someone made or something I don't know I'm glad I played this one instead if that's the case but anyway see ya everyone